Soundcore Flare 2.5 year review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Soundcore Flare. Now I've had this bad boy for like two and a half years and I've had pretty much no issues at all with it. I love it, it's pretty much my go-to speaker. It seems to be really popular to wanna to buy these JBL speakers. And you know, I've been around people who buy them and I'm just not that impressed. When you look at the prices, a lot of times uh, JBL speakers, you know, for something like this, it might be like $100 for like a big thing, it's like 300. I love this thing so much. I pretty much haven't heard like a better portable speaker around me that's this size, that's this clear you know when people usually bring them they're much worse quality than this one so i did do a review on the w king i think it's 40 watt i'm not too sure so i keep the w king speaker at my house and i keep it constantly plugged in and then i have like a monitor for my games and i don't know if you guys are familiar with monitors but most of the time monitors don't have speakers built in so i use the w king at my house for my computer speakers but then also i can you know pull my bluetooth up on my phone and connect it there when i'm at my house and it's never gonna run out because it's always charging. But this is my portable speaker. This is the one that I keep inside my computer bag at all times. When I'm on the go and I wanna hear some high quality music or I'm gonna watch a movie, I always, always put this one on. The sound here is just absolutely phenomenal. Like I have no issues with it. Very crisp, very clear. Um, they also have this, it might be a little dirty, but they have this like bass boost button. So they have this bass button here, which is actually really nice and convenient because if you play some really bassy music and you have this bass boost on and you have max volume on, it does not sound very good. It's a little distorted. So the bass boost is perfect when you don't wanna have it up all the way, but it's you, you want the sound to be a little bit more thick, a little bit more bassy. It's perfect for that middle volume type range, but you know, when you wanna have maximum sound, you turn that bass boost off and it sounds really, really good at high volume. And I've also noticed that in movies, it's a little bit easier to hear what they're saying with the bass boost lowered. So I really, really like that effect because there's times where you need it and there's times where you don't. And if they had something you couldn't adjust, it's like, ah, you know, there's times where you would be craving each one and then you have the option here. So another thing is that it's not a big deal, but I think it has like these lights. It's got like a bunch of different lights and like it'll flash based on the sound that's coming out or like the music. So that's just a nice little touch. Like I don't usually use it cause I just want to conserve the battery. It doesn't really serve as much of a use, but it is nice. It is something like me, you know, if I was in the dark in my room, I would probably really enjoy that. Another thing I like about this is it's extremely durable. Like I probably dropped this like 25, 30 times, you know, over the course of like two and a half years. And I never worry about it. It's always a trooper. It kind of has this design to roll or if it hits the side, it hits this like plastic thing that's really, really durable. So very durable design, very well thought out. Another thing I liked about it is that it has 360 sound, so sound coming out of everywhere. On my W King, it's not that way. It's essentially like a classic boom box and Recently, my cousin came down, he brought his portable speaker. It only faced one way too. And I just absolutely love this 360 sound. It sounds so good, so much better than just the sound going one way. I don't know if I could go back after trying this 360 sound, I love it. And then it has also really good battery. So a lot of times, you know, I'll watch uh, movies on my laptop at work. It's really in the back of my mind to charge this thing because I really almost don't need to. Like obviously at a certain point I do, but I think it has like a 12 hour battery life so it's supposed to just last forever i routinely will go a week two weeks maybe two and a half weeks without even thinking about it remembering it like um, it will start blinking red when it's about to die but even then like i'll just randomly get bored sometime and plug it in you know what i mean so it's got fantastic battery life on top of that i don't know how much i paid for this initially but i just looked online right now and i think it's about 50 dollars but to be honest guys, that's just not that expensive for how many uses this thing has, you know. If you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of money and likes music, you could have music going wherever you want. Like the sound is perfect. Like it literally sounds like a speaker that would cost like 80 to $100. You got all these options. You got the bass boost. I've dropped it a million times, you know, so 
I really can't recommend this one enough, guys. Like I probably would buy this one again if it broke just because I don't know anything else that's gonna cover all the bases that I like besides this one for the price. And then the last thing, apparently it's IPX7 waterproof. There is like a, essentially a newer version of this one. Like when I look at the listing that I bought, that listing's gone. But then when I look at the new listing, it's essentially the same thing, last 12 hours, same look, same everything. So I don't know if there's a difference in the waterproofing, but there is a decent amount of waterproofing technology, which is just gonna encourage you to take it with you even more. And again, the only cons I had is, if you have it at max volume with that bass boost, it's not as distorted. Anyways, guys, what kind of portable speakers are you using? Do you use portable speakers? Do you not use portable speakers? I'd be very interested to see. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace